Alright, so it's Tuesday, October 25th, and the rut really should be just about to happen. This is when I, I like to do what I call in-season scouting. You know, you spend all summer scouting areas out to, to pretty much determine where you want to hunt. Well, come the rut, I'm a big believer that that all changes. It pretty much, once the rut starts, I hunt wherever there's a fresh scrape because those buck are going to be coming in checking those scrapes almost every night or morning. At some point during the day, they will be coming in and checking those scrapes. So yeah, you can spend all summer scouting, which is fine. I recommend it. But once once the rut picks up, I pretty much fo my I focus on where's the deer sign? Where is this the fresh scrapes? And that's what I'm doing today. It's it's probably to be honest with you a pretty good day to be out hunting, but I haven't really had any good encounters with a buck yet. That's why I'm out here. Look at that. That's cool. So that's why I'm out here. Find out where where the freshest sign is, because the areas that they normally are, they haven't been. So, I'm going to walk around the property, I'm going to walk around the property here, just try to get a feel for where the deer sign is, if I can find any fresh scrapes, if I find something really good, I'm going to have to hunt, don't really want to tonight, I'm tired, but I won't pass up the opportunity to shoot a, a nice buck. That's for sure. And right there is a nice fresh little rub. You can see that. Right here on that tree. Small. Nothing major. I don't see any scrape there. That's that's kind of the reason why I come out and I I do this. You never I've never hunted where I'm walking right now. And sometimes it's a good it's a good opportunity to check out other areas. I know some people will tell you, don't go tracing through the woods. I'm not one of those people. I think you should walk the woods. There goes one. That was a a younger deer. See, that's the kind of things that. I never would have saw if I didn't come out and scout. So, that little patch of woods behind me, right there, just walked around that, didn't see anything of interest to me. So, we're gonna go that way. We're gonna go through that fence row there. Go out to the other side, check that out over there. So, I'm on the other side. Unfortunately, the land I can hunt, our boundary line is right here. And it goes that way. I can hunt the corn side, do not have permission to hunt the winter wheat side, fortunately. So, we're gonna go over there eventually. First I wanna walk down through the corn here. And just scout this out. I didn't see anything along this fence row that screams hunt here. I don't see any, any 
ears of corn on any of these stalks. Right, so I made it to the other side of the cornfield from over there. And uh, this looks like a really nice spot. Right? One thing I don't like is it's right on the boundary line. There's a tree in here. I've been in it before. But I'd be able to cover. I'd be able to cover the green field and the cornfield from the same tree. I might have to hunt here tomorrow. Walking along this really thick, thick stuff, and I found what I wanted to find. This grape. I was hoping to find one of these. And I'll show you what I do once I do find them. Well, tomorrow, I'll probably end up coming back here to hunt. And I'll keep note of how that scrape looks. And I'm willing to bet tomorrow that it's tore up something fierce. Just found another scrape. Now, I don't think that one's been freshened up for a little bit. Although it could have. It could have been freshened up. Just because it's really windy out and there's no leaves there. Now that one. That's another scrape. That one hasn't been in at least today yet. That's from today, which is a good sign. Other than the fact that there's a walking trail about 50 yards away from me. That really sucks. There's, there's small rocks. Good sign that there's deer around. Well, that's that. Hopefully you guys learned something about doing in-season deer scouting. It's a very useful tool. I've shot quite a few buck doing it. You can scout and scout all summer. The real action is when the rut starts picking up. It's always a telltale sign what's around. And deer don't follow boundaries. Just because you see a deer on your trail camera doesn't mean that he's going to stay on that property you're hunting. I've seen deer that I've never seen before on this property. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'm gonna go home and spend some time with my dog and my wife tonight. I'll see you guys Sunday. And uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for me and I'll see you guys later.